Hello and welcome to Mr. Red Plays the Impossible Quiz. Now I know what you're thinking. Why play a game that's impossible? So let's get started. Uh, first thing we see is that there's a giant green begin sign. And this is going to be our first, I think, test in the quiz. We have to figure out what to press here because there's a button that says high scores. And it's not really a button because you can't click on it. Which means I literally can't press this as a button. Which means we only have one option. And that's begin. See, these are the things you have to think about when you're taking a quiz that's deemed impossible. Because some people might not consider this. They'd jump into it and they'd be like, look, high scores. Uh, I don't know, maybe that's it, because I want the high score. But they don't realize you can't click on it. So only the higher minds are going to be able to figure out just exactly how to how to beat this. Also, there are ads all over this page, and they're kind of annoying me. This one has bees all over this man. It's Progressive. We're not sponsored by Progressive, so let's just, uh, let's just put it out of sight, out of mind, and we'll begin. Uh-oh. Oh. Slap Me Do Presents. We have a fart sound effect. So we know we're in for some great uh, quality joke, joke. Hmm. All right, so hey, there's the quiet version, which again, doesn't seem to be a, it's not a clickable link. Start, instructions, credits, slap me do's deviant art. Slap a two piece, oh, it's splap actually. There we go, see I got the first question wrong. Now I'm not gonna make a whole bit about which one of these to click because we could be here for literally hours. I'm just gonna click on start, boop. Okay, how many holes in a polo? What's a polo? A polo. A polo is where you uh, are on a, a horse and you hit ball with stick and then it means that there would be one. Is it like golf? Wrong one life. Oh no. Two. Wrong one life. Three. Oh, I gamed over in the first one. All right, how many poles it's for? Can a match box? Oh, can a match box, haha. Uh, -huh. uh, yes, one beat Mike Tyson, or no, but a tin can. Obviously, that's the correct joke. Strong back. Sit. Not what you think it is. Hit. Backwards this question answer. Answer this question backwards, okay. Or is it tennis elbow? Wobble. Sinnet. Sinnet. I am the Sinnet. Eh. Click the answer. Ah, you got me. You didn't get me, rather. By the way, if this turns out to be like a jump scare thing, I'm sorry, guys. Here, I'm going to turn the volume down just in case it is. Now I'm suddenly really scared that it is. It didn't occur to me that it was, but uh, 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 I'm thinking that it might be. Also, I want to take a short video and show you guys the uh, the room that I'm in right now. Okay, so usually the room is well lit and bright, but today I'm trying something new where all of the lights are off. There's a light and it's off, so it's very dark and scary in here. Actually, you can see more on my phone screen than you can anywhere else. There's a whatever that's called, and I think it's gonna I think it's gonna be all the worse if I get jump scared. Okay, put the mouse on here. Done. Now don't touch blue. Oh, oh yeah, you just do one of these situations where you take the mouse outside of the game. Boom, next question. Some of these are easy what? Never mind. Um, okay, onion, and then it's square root therein. Okay, uh, so obviously it's the square, what's an onion that's squared? Or square rooted, rather. The root of an onion. The root of an onion. Oh, it must be shallots. I don't know what a shallot is, but yeah, okay. The answer is really big. The word answer, infinity, really big, or an elephant. The answer is really big. That seems to be the most. Okay. Okay, great. Well, then that wasn't it. Then I only have two lives left then I don't know what to do if it's not, because it says literally the answer is really big. So I clicked on really big. Maybe it's this really big? No. Well, it's not an elephant. Okay. Search. Oh, okay. That was easy. Sad face, no. Yes. Okay. 
What was the answer to question two? Oh no, this is impossible. I don't know this. How would I have remembered this? What was the answer to question two? Question two obviously was that one. Oh, I did it. Okay, choose food. Choose food. Oh, this thing. It chews food. Nice one. Whoa. Hey, I earned a skip. How many questions are there? Every, okay, so every 10 questions I earn a skip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Are there 70 questions to this? That's too many questions. What follows December 2nd and then a question mark? So it's probably a question mark, but it might be. What follows December? What's this N? Because two and uh, 142 draw dwarves? Why 142 dwarves? What's going on around here? Oh no, it wasn't a question mark. Oh well, I guess it's time to talk to book guy. Can I help you? Sorry, I was just playing the Switch. Aren't you supposed to be book guy? Oh, I was super into books, but then I discovered movies and then that led me into video games. So I guess I, I'm a fan of those now. Okay, but I wanted to talk to book guy about books. Guy. Yeah, books are cool, I guess. You can't play Stardew Valley on books, though. Speak for yourself. What do you know? Wait a second. Is this all a clever Audible sponsorship ad read? Something about how you can listen to books while playing video games? No, because Audible isn't sponsoring this show. In fact, this show doesn't have any sponsors, which is why Patreon.com slash MrEdPlays. Guys, did you know that for as little as a dollar a month, you can help out this show, make it grow, make it better and happier. We're back in the creepy forest of despair. Uh, there's a lot of great things that will happen if you do, because as well as helping out the show and being just a genuinely good person, you get some stuff too, and isn't that the American way? So if you do one dollar per month, that is such a low amount of money, it's ridiculous. Frankly, I shouldn't even have this tier, but if you do it, then you will get your name added to the end of every single video. That's not even some of the videos. It's every one, dog. So if you do that, you can have your name at the end of the videos, like I just said. But if you do five dollars per month, it's five, then you can also get your name added to the end of every video in addition to you getting to listen to an exclusive weekly audio podcast I do called It's a Setup. I record this while I set up the sessions and I make jokes, talk about what's going on in my life. It's a lot of fun. I don't know. Maybe you're into that. But then if you do $10 per month, you can help me decide what to talk about during the episodes because sometimes I run out of things to say. It doesn't happen all the time, but it does happen. No one's denying that it happens. So if you help out the show in that regard... I gotta stop saying help out the show, but maybe it's good to reinforce it because you are helping out the show. You can help out the show in two ways. One, supporting it financially, and you get to tell me what to talk about when I run out of things to say, which happens more often than I would like. So uh, that is some cool stuff that you can do instead of reading books, which, as we all know, are not video games. And that's an undisputed Mr. Red fact. Do I have something on my nose? Why is my nose red? Okay. Thanks, I guess. Anyway, back to this. Okay, so we're coming back into this, and it looks like this is question number two. It only looks like that, though. It isn't really. No, it is. Uh, can a matchbox know but a tin can? I believe that's the correct answer. Okay, so it is. So it's the one on the bottom left. I don't know what those arrows that it was pointing all around is for, but we'll figure that out when we get there. We're going to try to get there with three lives, and we'll have a skip by then. Okay, here we are back at question two, although I'm remembering now that this wasn't the last one he had, it was a question mark one? And in this one, it's this one, but this was the thing, but it's pointing up here, but that's pointing over here, but that's pointing over here. This one's on its own. I think it wants, I have three lives by the way. I think we want this one because it says that one and it's pointing there. And I clicked on that one and I was wrong. So, okay, why is it that one then? That wasn't the answer to question two. I don't get it. Oh well. It must simply be this N. It was. It was the N. Click the smallest circle. Okay, I will click the smallest circle. Which one is the smallest circle? It's this one. It's this one, yes. It's, there we go, hey. I thought. Oh, okay, I forgot that this was on and needs to be off. Sorry, everybody, my phone went off. What sound does a bell make? Whoop, fatang, froon. 
Blip Blop, Bloop Banga, Ooh Langa, Woof, Nubby Frp, 120,000, Ekalek Ulu, A Scab Babble D, Booble Wop. Well, I don't really think about beeps and boops. Was that a thousand percent clear? It says bleep bloop, and I think it's supposed to say bleep. It's a little bit. What sound does a bell make? Well, this is weird, so it's probably that. But what, 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 what are you saying? What are you saying? Why are you saying this? This is impossible. I don't get it. So, what is it? Is bell something that's something that I should know? That wasn't it. That wasn't the weird one. So, what sound does a bell make? How do I know? Patang. It was patang. What can you put in a bucket to make it lighter? A hole. But I bet it's not a hole. I bet it's something ridiculous. <gasps> okay. What can you put in a hole to make it lighter? A torch. Lighter! Yeah. All right. Nay, Winnie. You can't skip this one. Uh, I... Huh? Are you supposed to... Are you supposed to type something in? I bet you're not supposed to type in horse. You are supposed to... You are supposed... You are... You are supposed... What? What is the seventh letter of the alphabet? A, B, C... D, E, F, G. G. But it's not G. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's E. But it's not E. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's H. I've beaten you for the first and last time. 24 minus 7. Why would it equal walrus? So if you have 24 and you take 7 away from it, you get 18, right? So yeah. Obviously. Look at us, uh, getting here with all three lives. I've done all these, so now I've just memorized them. Two, four, minus, is that a minus? Is that a seven? Is that a two, four? Oh, oh, it's 17. Look at this, look at this. Stop, hammer time. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What? Color, color in the correct order. Um. Um. What is boggy? Okay. It's boggy. It's boggy. It's boggy outside. You know when it's outside and it's boggy and it first... Okay, so... Oh, yeah, here it is. It's boggy out. That means it's like swampy. So first, before the boggy happens, it's the regular sky, which is blue. That's first. Yes, okay, and then after after you do that, after after the sky is not blue because it's boggy, uh, it starts to get really sad out, and a lot of artists choose the color orange to like uh, uh, exemplify that. So next is orange, good. And then you are envious of the, the good times, so green. And of course, uh, that happens so much that you would do it twice, and then you're yellow with, with scaredness. It was the letters. Okay, deal or no deal? Deal, no deal. Seal, no seal. <laughs> no seal. Uh, no seal? Seal? Deal? No deal? Why don't we figure this one out in the next episode? Guys, thank you so much for watching. Tune in in two days for more exciting This Adventures. Not misadventures, but This Adventures. You understand. And I hope to see you again. Bye, everyone.